more you get to know someone, the more you understand that nobody is normal. Let that set you free this morning. What is normal? We kind of redefined normal a couple of years ago, didn't we, uh, with the pandemic? But the fact of it is we're all different and within the parameters of biblical truth, different is good. Uh, we have a tendency, I think, as human beings to, uh, to try to make other people think exactly like we do sometimes. Maybe that's our default setting. And we have to be intentional about understanding that we are different. And the Bible has something to say about this. Of course, the Bible has something to say about most everything. But in 1 Corinthians 12, in keeping with the series that we have been in, 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 to 6 says, There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. It's important for us to remember that God, through Jesus Christ, has designed uh, a way that his children, redeemed, born again, can be not only indwelled by the Holy Spirit, but filled with with the Holy Spirit. And with that filling comes uh, the privilege of being used in supernatural manifestation gifts of the Spirit. But listen, we don't get to decide which gifts we or somebody else operates in. That is totally up to God. So when we see differences in others, let's not be quick to judge just because they're a little bit different than we are. Perhaps we can celebrate it. Well, here's just a few guidelines maybe to help us in this, to celebrate our differences in the body of Christ. The first thing is to be open to different approaches to ministry. Uh, a cookie cutter approach to ministry does not work. It has never worked, and it especially doesn't work in the day and age in which we live, where we have such a conglomeration of cultures and opinions for that matter. I think with the advent of social media, people have become much more opinionated or maybe more willing to share their opinions in a public forum. Be open to different ways uh, to do ministry. God created us and we are made in his image. So we are made to have character and nature of God. And one of those character traits is creativity. The second thing to look at and to remember is to celebrate and appreciate the differences in one another. Aren't you glad we're not all the same? My goodness, how boring that would be. God created in us differences on purpose so that we would have to work together. The third thing to keep in mind as we celebrate differences is to seek the Holy Spirit and expect the gifts. Not to expect a particular gift, we're not seeking gifts, we're seeking the giver of the gifts. But at the same time, expect the gifts to manifest in your life. And the fourth thing for today, embrace the uniqueness, the difference that God has designed. Listen, we're his prized uh, creation, right? Everything else he spoke into existence, but uh, the Bible says that on the sixth day, he, he created man from the dust of the earth, and he said, it is very good. Well, since that time, we've given him plenty of opportunity for him to wring his hands and go, oh, boy, these, these humans I've created. But he loves us so much that he has created in us differences. Huh? It's kind of like he's created in us free will. A free will to choose to love and follow him or a free will to reject him. And it would not be love if he did not create us with free will. So whenever somebody says to you, boy, you're a little different, just say, hallelujah. That's the way God made me. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you that we are different. We thank you that in every way, physically, emotionally, personalities, gifts, talents, and all of that, that you created us to be different. 
And that way, not one person could ever be expected to have it all together. We need one another. Thank you, Lord, for putting your church in place on earth. Help us to understand that we are definitely better together as your church, the body of Christ here on earth. Thank you, Lord, for all of the lengths you went to so that we could be empowered to do that which you've called us to do, and that is make disciples. Thank you, Lord, for this blessing from heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. I'll see you next week.